CSS shapes enable web designers to wrap content around custom paths. This enables much richer layout for your content. However, creating the shapes themselves used to be a very difficult process. You'd have to go through an external vector editing tool, export to your code editor, and then finally preview in your browser. There has to be an easier way to do this. Hi, my name is Razvan, and today I want to show you the CSS Shapes Editor for Chrome. This is a developer tools extension, which brings an interactive editor for CSS Shapes right in your browser. You can use the Chrome Web Store and find this, or you can use the link in the description to install it. After you install it, turn on the developer tools, and then you'll notice you now have an extra sidebar called Shapes. The shapes sidebar shows you the computed value of the shape outside and clip path properties of the currently selected element. If we use it on an element which already uses CSS shapes, we can use the pointer icon to turn on the editor. Now I can drag this interactive editor on the page to adjust the shape, and as I do this, you'll notice how the uh, coordinate values change in my sidebar and on the style of the selected element. The uh, polygon editor has much more editing capabilities. I can click the edges of the polygon to add new vertices, and I can drag these points around to change the polygon shape. I can double click existing points to remove them, and I can transform the shape by using the transform tool here. This allows me to move the polygon shape around. I can then scale it, or I can rotate the shape to do minute adjustments. CSS shapes uh, work with any CSS unit types, but by default the CSS shapes editor uses pixels. However, if you wanted to switch to a different unit type, here's a very nifty trick. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click on the pointer icon. This is going to convert the unit types for the currently selected shape, and it actually cycles through a list of supported unit types. And when you're done selecting the unit type you want to, you can just continue editing from there. Now, in the uh, shapes sidebar, you might notice that we have this clip path property. This is not CSS shapes, this is actually CSS masks, but the syntax is actually the same, so we can reuse the shapes editor. So I can create a circular path around this coffee image, and I can adjust the clipping mask for the image and when I'm done I can click again on the pointer icon and I'm done with editing. This has been a very quick introduction to the CSS Shapes editor for Chrome. I hope you find this useful and I hope this encourages you to try out CSS Shapes. My name is Rosvan. thank you for watching.